Styling is similar to shaping in that you need to do the base first, then add detail. Therefore, I'll start by clicking the bucket button and selecting the light gray color. I'll make sure the bucket is selected in the palette so I can color entire bodies at once. Then, simply click on the elephant to add the gray everywhere. With that done, I next want to add color detail. So I'll switch to the roller icon so I can add color to individual faces rather than bodies. I'll start with the feet, so I'll select the black color and add it to the bottom four faces and flat bottoms of each leg. The next section I'll color is the inside of the ears and the tip of the nose. So I'll switch to the peach color here and select the four faces on the inside of each ear and the flat front of the trunk. The final bit of coloring will be for the mouth. So I'll select a red color, zoom in, and add it to the top and side faces of the mouth. For the bottom two faces, I'll select a pink color, so it looks like a tongue. And the coloring is complete. The styling isn't done with just that, though. I still need to add eyes to the elephant. So I'll click the Stickers button and find a matching pair of eyes that I like. I'll place them both onto the faces of the elephant above and to the side of the trunk. Then close the panel. One of the stickers pasted in the wrong orientation. So to fix that, I'll click on it and then use the circular handle here to rotate it until it matches the other one. Since the stickers are restricted to the face that they're applied to, if you want to change the shape of the sticker, you'll need to switch back to the Shape It app and adjust the face there. For this model, I'll shrink the face between the eyes, and I'm done. <laughs>